Hey guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. So today we have a very interesting product and this is a smart face mask. So guys, this mask is actually really perfect for my girlfriend when she sometimes talks too much. Aww. So sometimes, babe, oh, you're therapy. You and that's the therapy for you. <laughs> stop, stop talking, you're parroting. <laughs> so guys, as you have seen in the intro already, talking too much and not listening to other people can really badly affect relationships or even business. The company Mentimeter designed a smart face mask that prevents the so-called parroting. This mask was invented and designed by Mentimeter, who also sponsored this video. But what is Mentimeter? Mentimeter is a free-to-use online platform that allows real-time interaction between presenters and the audiences, making meetings enjoyable, engaging and more productive. Mentimeter has been founded in Stockholm in 2014 and recognized by the Next Web in 2018 as the fastest growing startup in Sweden, with over 150 million users in over 200 countries having already benefited from its innovations to date. Mentimeter enables speakers at lectures, corporate events, workshops and other formal and informal meeting types to truly engage with the audiences by providing them with easy to use tools to make presentations interactive. You probably have already seen those interactive presentations in your work or at events. I personally think it's a really cool way to engage more with your audience and also gather feedback from your listeners. So make sure to check the links down below for more information on the mask and also about Mentimeter. So let's have a closer look and let's get started with the unboxing. All right, guys, so there we go, quick unboxing. Here you can see the box of the mask. Talk less, listen more, don't be a parrot. I'm already really excited. And there we go, parroting detection mask. So here's some information on how this mask can help you to listen more carefully to other people. And we'll come to that in a second, but now let's have a closer look at the mask. And there we go, looks really quite interesting regarding in terms of accessories we have here a power supply and a usb cable and yeah let's have a closer look here at the mask so guys there we go here's the mask and yeah it looks quite interesting now it's not too flexible it's kind of hard because while it's plastic there are some leds inside which indicate if you talk a lot it's multicolored will actually start with green yellow and then goes to red now there's also i think a microphone and a speaker inside which is basically analyzing your voice and all the hardware to process this is here in the back of the device all right, then let's see what hardware we can find inside of the mask. So there's a 3D printed case in the back, which is held together by two screws. And in there you can see many PCBs and cables. And I'll try to explain that a little bit. So first of all, we have to remove four screws right over here. And in there we have a Raspberry Pi Zero. Here you can also see a 600 milliamp hours battery. That is basically to power the Raspberry Pi. It's actually a kind of big battery, but also it has to power the LEDs, the microphone and the speaker in the front of the mask. The Raspberry Pi Zero is basically a smaller version of the conventional Raspberry Pi with less ports, no display output, so it's more used for development. It for sure also comes with a micro SD card slot, so we can remove the micro SD card and it's a 16 gigabyte card, so basically that's mostly what you use for those Raspberry Pis and there's the software on it. So basically everything the mask is using, the whole software to analyze your voice and yeah, in the future there will be for sure some more development going on, software updates and I'm really, really excited for that. Also the Raspberry Pi Zero has Wi-Fi, so for now the Wi-Fi features are not working but let's see what we'll get with some software updates and some further development on the mask itself all in all very very interesting how this hardware looks like and now let's have a closer look at the features all right guys so there we go here's the mask and let's try it out and first of all i just want to mention in austria it's actually a law right now that you need to have an ffp2 mask in public so in austria you cannot use this in public but it's really nice even to train um, your speech with persons in your own household and yeah um, really interesting thing it's also a very smart mask. For instance, if there are more than one mask in the room, they actually communicate with each other with the read the room sensor. 
Then also um, there is Microsoft speech to text integrated. But how does Microsoft Azure speech to text actually work? Speech to text, also known as speech recognition, enables real time transcription of audio streams into text. Your applications, tools or devices can consume, display and take action on this text as command input. This service is powered by the same recognition technology that Microsoft uses for Cortana and Office products. This is exactly what the mask will use to analyze what you are saying and with this data it will detect if you are using too many buzzwords or if you are parroting. Now parroting is actually when you repeat things all over resulting in mostly talking too much. So I personally think that talking too much and not giving a break for the other person to speak is very close related to parroting. And I catch myself quite often doing this. Microsoft Azure Speech-to-Text is actually a really cool technology that can be used for this. The Speech-to-Text service is using a universal language model. This model was trained using Microsoft-owned data and is deployed in the cloud. It's really good for conversational and dictation scenarios. Also this mask has Wi-Fi built in, meaning that it could support even Microsoft Azure cloud computing to even analyze more and learn in the future. So it has some kind of buzzword detection. Now you shouldn't use too many buzzwords, actually use as little buzzwords as possible in your communication because it will be more clear, more effective and buzzwords in general, um, they can be kind of empty and confusing. So it's really cool that this mask is analyzing your voice. And yeah, um, let's put it on. Now here's a little plastic clip and you just put it on like this, just the way your mouth. I hope you guys can still hear me very well. And there we go, the mask is now on. There's also a tiny... <laughs> So it takes around about 45 seconds until the mask is turning on. Now guys, the features I've mentioned before, like the buzzword detection and the read the room sensor, they're actually currently under development. And right now it's basically interrupting you when you talk too much, which is also kind of useful. And as you hear right now, um, I'm starting to parrot. So that means when you talk too much, this LED will actually fill up then the mask will tell you to stop talking, but if you continue to talk, like I'm talking right now, then it will actually get red and it will start to um, disturb your voice like that. So guys, even though that sounds like a really weird and kind of useless feature, um, let me tell you a story from today's meeting. So I was in a meeting that was scheduled for 11 to 12 o'clock. But then there was uh, one guy that was presenting everything and he kept talking and talking and talking. And I really wanted to ask a question about something about um, the product or actually what they showed me. And he kept talking about the story and I was not even listening anymore. So the communication between us, it was actually kind of dead. And this is what this mask should actually prevent. So it will give you some time for talking. In this time, you should actually talk and really focus on the message you are saying, and then also let the other person talk and then listen to the other person until you talk again. So that there is really a um, communication in both ways, because there is nothing worse than being in a meeting and talking too long and um, just getting the other person bored. But it's the same also in relationships, like um, yeah, for your girlfriend, for instance, if you talk too much and you don't listen to her, then at some point your relationship will maybe get a hit. So guys, we have been running around here in the shopping center testing out the mask and the features for the first time. And I have to be honest, it's kind of funny. And yeah, I actually realized because I'm always the one that is talking too much and I'm not listening to my girlfriend. And um, basically it was indicating me how much I talk and I was surprised that I talk really a lot, maybe because I'm a YouTuber. And what do you think about the mask? Yeah, I really like it because he talks oh, you much. really like it? Yeah, and then I have time to speak now. Okay, <laughs> so we're now going to practice some more and yeah, let's see. All right, guys, so that was the video about the smart face mask and it's actually kind of interesting and I'll try it out because my girlfriend really sometimes complained that I talk too much, I don't listen enough. Now, <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so I had to remove the mask right now, but well, I think it's a kind of an interesting um, product now. Um, for sure, this is just a prototype and basically to showcase what the company is doing. I'm not really sure if that thing will be in production or will ever be 
further developed, but I think it really has a great message and this is listen more to other people around you and then it will be a much better communication and both people will actually profit from that. So well, um, you will find more links to Mentimeter down below in the description. Also, if you want to have more information on the mask, also make sure to check out the website for the future development. I'm actually really excited on how this text to speech, uh, actually speech to text recognition feature will work with the buzzwords and everything. This is something I think is really cool. So maybe in the future, there will be a device like this, which you can actually really buy. So guys, that's it. Big thanks for watching. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about it and see you very soon in the next one. Bye.